All right, everybody. So here are the three sets of spark plugs. These are the stock Ford. These are the Denso ITV22s. These are the Denso ITV24s, which you can tell they're brand new. Um, so after roughly 10,000 miles of each, the electrodes seem to be um, the same shade, same color. The spark plugs for all intents and purposes look exactly the same. Um, so that means I didn't obtain any problems at all by switching to the colder plug. Um, so now I'm going to check the wear in comparison. So right here I'm about 32 and a half thousandths. I'll just check them all so you get an average number. Uh, 32. 33. And 32. So 32 and a half thousandths on the stock ones wear in the 10,000 miles. Let's see here. We got. If I can get it on right. Um, 31 and a half thousandths. And they were all gapped. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know what the factory gap was on the factory plugs. But on these, uh, I did the recommended 30 thousandths. So now I'm at 32 thousandths. 32 and a half thousandths. 31 and a half 31 and a half so 31 and a half seems to be the average on those um, so that's about 1000 wear difference you know I don't know if it was the different weather since it was winter time during these ones and summertime during these there's a lot of factors that could go into the wear um, so 1000s, I'm going to call negligible and say that they wore exactly the same. Um, I had absolutely no misfires, um, no spark blowout at all on either of these sets of plugs with the tune. Um, so yeah, and then the next ones that I'm installing right now, they should all be gapped correctly, 30,000s. So, 30 thousands, 30 thousands. So, I will um, drive on these two step colder ones. Um, once again, I am running the 91 octane Cobb out of the box tune. I don't have any special tune, so obviously, Cobb's tune. Is pretty good since I have a nice gray color and everything's good. Uh, so until next time, uh, I'll let you know how the car drives and uh, if I notice any bad changes, good changes. Um, but so far, it seems like moving colder is not a problem and it could be an insurance policy. Um, yeah. So until next time, wrench on.